Good morning, good morning. This is M, CEO of the Soul Focus Group. And man, what a beautiful day. Let's give you a shot of how it look out here. Yeah, beautiful day. People walking on the trail. I just got through get my two miles in run. Feeling good. Blood flowing real well. Immune system pumped. Doing the work that I came into the world to do. I want to share with you a little story from my life that will help put in perspective my next chapter of work, which is uh, what I'm calling natural expression technology. What is something I'm offering to you, a system, a spiritual, social, psychological system, covers all three bases, spiritual, social, and psychological. And they are all integrated into one for the good of humanity. So the natural expression technology, we all have it. We all walk around having our own system within ourselves, our own base of technology that guides us and leads us uh, to our success. And here's where I, how I define success. Uh, success is simply fulfillment in all things. When you are able to be fulfilled in everything you do, you really have a system of success. Success is not something that comes about sporadically you know every now and then you may hit a little you may have a win but real success comes when you develop a system for winning a continuous system so the Egyptians had a system for winning you know throughout uh, ancient history there were people who had developed systems and they put up monuments to point to the system and how well the system worked because it because it, it lasts for so long that civilizations have come and gone and you still see the pyramids up as a monument to their system of success. Now, we can be intelligent and follow that system of success or we can be unintelligent and ignore the things that came out of their systems. So out of those systems came a crude understanding of astrology, astronomy, uh, spirituality, a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, and so we have to learn to begin to start trusting the communication that's coming from within our internal system, which is connected to our eternal system. All of us have an eternal system, and our natural expression is the translation of our eternal system. Since we are all eternal beings, we have an eternal system. All right, now, here's the story. So a few years back, uh, a uh, message from my eternal system came online through a download. When I say a download, meaning I picked this up from within myself, not from out there, from within, because I'm plugged in, I'm buried into the earth, I'm rooted in the earth. So this, the message was, M, you have to take a vow, a vow, excuse me, a vow of celibacy. I was like, oh shit, I gotta take a vow of celibacy, fuck. I don't know if I'm ready to give up having sex. Just being honest, I was like, shit, a vow of celibacy, because I, I really love sex. Just like most all Scorpios do, really love sex. So, and I, 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 you know, I didn't act on it immediately. And I usually, when I get an eternal message from my eternal system, uh, through my natural expression technology, I usually move on it very quickly. And so I was moving like a snail. And I think my eternal system knew that I would move on it like a snail. So I wanted to examine what my eternal system was trying to get me to understand. And as a teacher, my natural expression technology, meaning my gift is to teach. I love teaching. I create ideas out of the yin yang. I got so many ideas to help you understand yourself that if you came to me within no time at all, I'd have you in ship, ship, ship shop shape, chip top shape, ready to go out into the world and do what you were born to do. All I need is a few minutes with you because I understand the systems by which your eternal system was built. Yes, that's right. Uh, so what I discovered when I looked deeper into the practice of celibacy, because my eternal system was telling me that I have to introduce to the population the idea that we all need to start, we all need to take a vow of celibacy. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking the same thing I was thinking. Ain't no way I'm going to be practicing celibacy. I love sex. But this is what was meant on the eternal level, on the spiritual level. Celibacy is not the idea that you're going to stop fucking other people. 
Yes, I did say that. Celibacy is the idea that you're going to stop fucking yourself. So essentially what the eternal system was telling me, look, the days of fucking yourself are over. You have to take a vow to stop fucking yourself. Because all of the problems we see in the world are the result of us fucking ourselves and then trying to blame it on someone else. Trying to blame somebody. We tried to say somebody else fucked us. And the reality is no one ever, no one else ever fucks you. You keep fucking over yourself. So now, having that mandate, I was like, oh shit, I got to go out into the world and tell the world we got to go into a... We got we to gotta start practicing celibacy, self-celibacy, where we stop fucking ourselves. Mm. I'm going to stop right there and let you think about it. I'm going to let you marinate on that for a minute. Because that's some deep-ass shit when you think about it. And I know some of you pious people saying, oh, I can't believe he used that language. Oh, my God. Go look at Sigmund Freud and what Sigmund Freud discovered about taboo language. When he was doing his therapy sessions, he realized that using taboo language opens up the consciousness and the level to where most people aren't open up to because they're so predictable, so, you know, honest, so, you know, so in a box. And when you use the taboo language, you shock the mind, causing the ego to shut the fuck up and listen. You need to take a vow of celibacy, self-celibacy. Stop fucking yourself. I'm M, CEO of the Soul Focus Group, and I approve this message.